Welcome to Indie Style Limbo. I'm your host, Tracy Forno. Uh, Lisa Mitchell is back, a communications expert and founder of Power Body Language, in case you missed the earlier introduction. We're just making a point here. So this is six feet. This is some ground if we're cover doing it, here. Yeah, if we're yeah. doing it the way we're supposed to do it. Now, you and I probably don't have much issue with this because I'm naturally demonstrative and I'm large. Yes. <laughs> so that makes a big difference. Yes. But if we have the opportunity to see someone right. in person, whether it be a coworker or a family member, things like that, we still need to be making the most of, of, of this. Exactly. All right. So let's, let's, we'll put this down so we know where it is and we'll, we'll maintain a safe distance since mm -hmm. I'm not masked up. But one of the best things that you can do when you do get in physical space, and man, are we so excited to be back. Sure. Like, in any I'm way, so shape, or form. I'm so excited to yeah. be here. But I'll stay six feet away from you because safety first. But you want to convey that level of excitement. So mm -hmm. when you can greet somebody in person, we are all like starving for face-to-face -face interaction. Well, yeah. not all. Some of us are really glad that we <laughs> some are, have yeah, to talk Some of us are really coming but into their own. Some of us are really yeah, excited exactly. to get, get back together and mm -hmm. have face-to-face -face communication. So that warm greeting. Now, we can't like hug or embrace if right. it's not inside of our circle, but you can, you know, air high five, just- I saw like, Philip Rivers doing that. Yes, like, air high like five, that. You've seen that it. That you're seeing like the elbow bumps, if mm -hmm. you're like, can, can bump and run, you yeah. know, kind of thing. But, but that warm greeting of like, gosh, I'm just so glad to see you. I'm so glad to be in your, your space can still be very respectful and mm -hmm. very safe but can still be really warm and engaging as well. I was in Michigan uh, recently trying to do my best to stay away from people, but I saw a high school classmate, uh, right? a high school classmate that I'm still friends with, <laughs> unlike a lot of the ones on Facebook. Not the ones that roast you on Facebook. But, yeah, exactly. But it was, yeah. it was like, I just, I, I, it was a reaction. We have a lifetime of reacting <sighs> right. socially. When I was like, I started coming up and he, he shot me a look like, Foreigner, stay. You, like you know, he wasn't. But it's was like, yeah, yeah, right. Because I was, I was gonna come in because I hadn't seen him in probably ten years. But I was like, yeah, that's right. And I'm in, in a profession where we talk about this every day. So yeah. we really have to resist our natural urges. Right, and that's where our words come in really handy, which is kind of our second tip, is to just be intentional about verbalizing mm -hmm. your, um, your, your kind of intent, your warmth, your just desire to connect with somebody, right? So in that mm -hmm. case, it would be like, man, it is so glad to see you. I wish I could give you a hug right now, but yeah. we're gonna stay just safe. Just go ahead right? and say it. Just, everybody knows things are so weird right now. So mm -hmm. just like verbalize it. Just say, my intention is that I would love to connect with you or I would love to give you a hug or it's so great to see you. And, and then that way, the space, the six feet, doesn't right. feel quite so quite distant. So, yeah. And I've, I've been throwing in the phrase, at least, I. I I'm so glad to at least see you. Like yes. it's it's, I, it's right. sort of acknowledging without right. looming so, over it and dwelling on it. And I love those. You know, I'm such a I fight over words all the time, and I love mm -hmm. that phrase at least because it says I intend. Like I would really love to do more. Yeah. But we're working with what we mm -hmm. have, right? So that person is left on the other side of you, feeling like his intention is to really greet me warmly. He's really glad to see me, but we're doing what we know we need to do mm -hmm. right now. So that's a great way to kind of verbalize, use your words specifically. It helped that he was armed. Uh, he's, a, he's, <laughs> he's a deputy. He's, he's a sheriff's deputy, so he was like, anyway. Uh, what about a business protocol? Because that's a little different. That just it seems slightly more formal, but like still acknowledging, hey, this is, you know, normally there'd be a handshake, but. Yeah, exactly. And again, stating your intention and just acknowledging like it's okay in a weird time to say this is weird. Yeah. Right. Or I would really prefer to right now right. shake your hand and greet you that way, but we'll keep it safe and, and go for the air high five. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so using your words, acknowledging, being respectful, just stating what's weird, right? Yeah. Like calling out what we already know. Right. Let's everybody just kind of take a breath and feel like, yeah. oh, well, are they, am I going to be perceived as rude for not right. addressing the different. elephant that's in the room exactly. at six just feet away? Just call it out. We all know it's weird. Well, let's, let's throw in the other element of the mask, too, because it's I, my daughter works at the zoo and she yes. is, she's, I've told her, she's sort of a lighthearted bouncer because she's a greeter <laughs> and she has to remind the zoo patrons about social distancing and mask and things of that nature. And I'm like, sweetie, I said, my friend Lisa, she's going to tell you, you can convey a lot with just yeah. this and you need to do that. Exactly. And the, the third tip you let us right there is to kind of overcompensate with your other gestures and facial expressions. So mm -hmm. the great thing is, is even with the mask on, when you smile, your face yeah. lifts, your eyebrows Use those twist. eyebrows, like, yeah. Everything activates if you genuinely smile. So don't not use facial expressions because you think the mask hides them. There still is so much going on mm -hmm. between the bridge of your nose and your forehead. And mm -hmm. so it can convey confusion, it can convey anger, it can convey happiness. So manage to a, an almost exaggerated degree what's happening on the upper part of your face. So mm -hmm. to acknowledge somebody eyebrows up is a great way to do that. Keep smiling, people recognize what, the, this, yeah, exactly. what the smile looks like. And then use your other gestures. So mm -hmm. if you can be more explanatory, like 
a lot of times I did not realize how much I read lips for clarity. Oh. Especially if it's noisy, if you're meeting at some place sure. where there's background noise. Right. I really read lips. And so for me, I find myself asking, I'm sorry, can you yeah. say that again? Or mm -hmm. it sounded like you said this, is that correct? So I ask a lot of clarifying questions. I also try to use lots of explanatory gestures. So right. if I'm counting out something or giving a list, I'm yeah. counting on my fingers. Got if it. I'm ex like showing exuberance, yes. I get big, right? If I'm telling a secret, maybe I get smaller and lean in. Physical so, emphasis to your words. Absolutely. So use your body language, use your nonverbal communication to help people get greater clarity and understanding around your tone, which mm -hmm. is hard to hear with the mask yeah, sometimes too. Yeah, it is. Too. Yeah. Right? So, so you can convey a lot and compensate with your body language and facial A voice expression. through a mask sometimes is like a text. It's really difficult. I spend half my day saying what? What? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. Can you say that again? And I've yeah. never been a terrific listener, but I realize <laughs> now with other people in, in masks how that little bit of muffle can really, like you've got to... Right, and then if Look you look them in the eye, face them, listen to their message. And anyone whatever. that might have vision challenges or hearing challenges, you know, you want to make sure that you're you're being extra patient. Yeah. And checking for clarity. So asking sure. asking confirming questions to make sure your message was yes. heard clearly is a great way to do make that. Make sure your message is clear, certain during these uncertain times. Exactly. Thank you. Nice to see you in person. Nice to be here. I'm excited. Like, nice to at least see you right, in person. Right, six feet away though. There you go. Six. No nice encroaching.